Welcome back to the Inside View. Today, we're exploring Richard Noe's recent blog post, Clarifying and Predicting a GI, where he introduces the TAGI framework. This framework helps us better understand the progression of artificial general intelligence, or AGI, by viewing it as a spectrum rather than a binary threshold. A system is considered TAGI if on most cognitive tasks it beats most human experts who are given time T to perform the task. For instance, a one-second AGI can recognize objects in images, quickly answer trivia questions, provide basic intuitions about physics, or check if sentences are grammatical. A one-minute AGI, however, would beat humans at answering questions about short text passages or videos, common sense reasoning, and simple computer tasks like using Photoshop to blur an image. Now, when we reach one hour AGI, we could start seeing our economy accelerate as a lot of jobs can be automated, including diagnosing patients and giving legal opinions. However, there are a lot of tasks that take more than one hour to complete. A one-day AGI would need to be better than most humans at writing insightful essays negotiating business deals, developing new apps and running scientific experiments. If one day was not enough, a one-month GI should be able to carry out medium-term plans like founding a startup, writing a new operating system, and even be capable of making novel scientific discoveries. Finally, a one-year AGI could do basically anything a human can do since even projects that require more than one year can be decomposed in smaller projects that take less than a year. In Richard Noe's view, existing systems are one-second AGIs, close to one-minute AGIs, and a couple of years away from one-hour AGIs. To motivate further his framework, Richard defines an extension to the TAGI model, which he calls TNAGI. An AI is a TNAGI if it can beat any group of N humans working together on tasks for time T. A superintelligence would basically be a one-year 8 billion AGI, aka an AGI system that can outperform the entire human population on any given task. How can we use these frameworks to make predictions about when we would get a superintelligence? In the comments section, Richard gives a rough ballpark estimate. If right now we're at one second a GI, and we assume that we could gain an order of magnitude every one and a half years, then we would reach something like a one-day AGI in roughly six to seven years. Daniel Kokotajlo, who also works at OpenAI, believes otherwise. He claims that AIs would end up generalizing from tasks that take humans a short amount of time to tasks that take humans a long time. On top of that, research and development in AI can partly be automated with AI, so we might see some accelerating effect where the T in TAGI will start increasing slowly, and then the rate of acceleration would increase. Here is the table Daniel gives about his best guess, and what he believes is Richard's guess. The main crux seems to be that Daniel believes we only need about 10 to the 29 flops, to be able to solve longer tasks by generalizing from shorter tasks, whereas a more mainstream view presented in Ajaya Kotra's 2020 report believes we might need 10 to the 36 flops because we really need long horizon training and a lot of compute to solve longer tasks. For more details, please refer to Richard's clarifying and predicting a GI less wrong post. Link in the description. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into AI alignment.